So uh, let's get started. I'll uh, do a quick introduction to the day and to IPTC, and then I'll pass on to our first speaker, Michael Steidel. So uh, as I have just said, this is the, uh, the first uh, online event that we've run. And uh, we uh, haven't run a webinar this size before. So uh, we've got actually about 200 people registered, which is great. So uh, hopefully it'll all go smoothly. Uh, but please forgive us if something goes wrong at some point. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to rectify things very quickly if anything does happen. So uh, this is actually the 14th IPTC Photo Metadata Conference. It started in 2007 and uh, it's been running every year since then. So uh, it's uh, great that we've been able to continue it for that long and make it run for many years in the future as well. So uh, as I said, we've previously run them in association with CPIC, the European uh, Alliance of Picture Agencies. So uh, thanks to them for hosting our event at their previous conferences and uh, hopefully there'll be another CPIC Congress in 2021 and we'll be able to go back to uh, having our event hosted by them. Uh, so I'll just spend a few minutes just talking about what IPTC is as the organization. So hopefully everyone on this call uh, has heard of IPTC, at least the IPTC fields, but you might not realize that we're an organization that actually does a lot more than just photo metadata. So uh, we, we call ourselves and we are called by others the global technical standards body of the new media of the news media. So uh, we have a lot of members who are news organizations, uh, media organizations in the broader sense, and, uh, and vendors and consultants in that same uh, sphere. Uh, we are an open organization. Anyone can join as a member or as an individual. Uh, we're a registered nonprofit based in the UK, but we, with a global reach and global focus. And uh, we're dedicated to promoting interoperable standards and best practices in the news and media industries. So uh, we started in 1965 as an association of uh, news wires and press agencies uh, looking at formulating technical standards uh, with vendors and with groups like satellite uh, companies and uh, telegraph companies so for um, sending news content over telegraph wires. So uh, the news industry realized that we had to join together to come up with some joint standards and joint approaches to working with this uh, emerging world of electronic transmission of news content. And so, uh, sorry for those who've seen me do these uh, intros before, but uh, from some old newsletters that uh, we've dug up uh, from the very early days of IPTC, uh, we've got some information about uh, IPTC's founding in 1967, the organization received a, a letter from number 10 Downing Street from the um, office of the Prime Minister of the UK, wishing IPTC success. And, uh, and one of the early success stories was in 1967, uh, IPTC members had an intercontinental uh, link up sending a page of newspaper content 50,000 miles across continents uh, in only 15 minutes, which now sounds uh, slightly humorous, but uh, in 1967, that was a very big thing. And uh, just to look at what was happening uh, years ago, but not that many years ago, uh, we had a news photo working party in the 90s that was looking at uh, things like color consistency in transmitting images across uh, electronic means. Uh, so we've been looking at uh, photos and transmission of news content for a long time. So uh, as a quick history of where we've come from, uh, before we talk about where we're going, uh, we, uh, as I said, were created in the, the mid 60s and it was mostly in those days a lobbying group uh, talking to satellite companies, uh, working through the International Telecommunications Union. Uh, the first official standard that uh, is still going now, at least, that um, was created is in 1979, uh, that was for transmitting news content over binary uh, means, binary channels. And that's actually still being used today by some news 
agencies and uh, news publishers to uh, transmit newswire stories. Uh, the information interchange model and the photo metadata standard were created in the 90s. So Michael will be talking about the history of those a bit more. And, uh, and then some of our other standards around NewsML, NewsML G2, and some of our more recent standards, NinJS, WritesML, Video Metadata Hub were created in the 2000s and 2010s. So just in terms of what IPTC does as an organization, we create standards that help to exchange news content between uh, news outlets, news agencies and publishers, uh, mostly around syndication, but not only around syndication. Uh, obviously, the photo metadata standard that you'll be hearing about today, but also uh, standards around transmitting sports results, rights information, uh, video metadata. And we also have a set of taxonomies of controlled vocabularies that are maintained by a working group, one of our working groups. Uh, around subject classification, but also a lot of uh, specific uh, taxonomies to do with components of our standards, including uh, photo metadata, such as the image regions that we introduced last year. We've got a controlled vocabulary around the types of image regions that can be annotated in photo metadata markup. We also run events, so our members attend uh, online uh, attend face-to-face -face meetings usually in a normal year we would have two face-to-face -face meetings in the spring and autumn obviously this year we've been having them online and we're actually having a member meeting right now uh, that's our autumn one we had one in may this year that was also online so they're usually for three days uh, contiguously and uh, it's where our working groups present their progress and we usually have invited speakers and uh, groups like startup vendors, uh, interesting projects that are going on that uh, want to present to the news and media industry can come along and uh, give presentations. And this is a, um, a photo from our event in Toronto a couple of years ago where we had a few uh, major news organizations talk about their search system. So we had a special focus on search. So we had someone from Bloomberg talking about how Bloomberg stories go out to all of the Bloomberg terminals around the world and how people can search across those in real time and uh, we had people from New York Times and AP talk about their search systems as well so that was really interesting and uh, and obviously the photo metadata conference as I mentioned uh, we also do software development so we've got some open source tools that uh, we allow the industry to use that we create for the benefit of the industry and uh, we're always looking for more ideas for things to create to help people use our standards and to uh, help people exchange news content. So uh, we also work with uh, other organizations, including groups like Google and the Content Authenticity Initiative, as we're, uh, we'll see today, but also groups like SEPA, the people behind the EXIF standard, which uh, again, Michael will be mentioning, and uh, camera makers more generally, and uh, groups like the W3C and OASIS as well. Uh, we have different membership categories. I won't really go into this, but there are lots of different types of membership categories, including startup membership that we've just launched recently. Uh, we have lots of uh, household names as our voting members. That's the top level of membership. So thanks to all of those people for being uh, contributing voting members. And we also have lots of other uh, organizations as associate members and also individual members. So uh, consultants and people who are um, hobbyists working on uh, maybe they've worked in the industry for a while and now they're more of a consultant type role so they might join as an individual member uh, and uh, so that was just a quick run through of what IPTC is and what we do uh, so this is how we'll be structuring the rest of uh, the next three hours so uh, Michael from uh, IPTC, the lead of IPTC Photo Metadata Working Group, will be uh, presenting the, the current state of uh, IPTC Photo Metadata with some uh, great uh, analogies that uh, I think you'll like. And uh, then we've got Francois from uh, Google, uh, from Google, he's the product manager for Google Images, uh, talking about the licensable images uh, project, which probably many of you are here to hear more detail about. Uh, and then we've got a panel session uh, where Matthew from uh, Getty Images and Marcin from Picture Max will be talking about their approach 
to implementing uh, Google licensable images and we can have some Q&A with uh, all of those people. Uh, and then hopefully that will take us up to uh, five o'clock UTC. Uh, where we'll just have a short break and then uh, we'll come back for Andy Parsons from Adobe who'll be talking about the Content Authenticity Initiative, which is probably very interesting to a lot of you as well.